What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to another LG OLED calibration video. This video is for calibrating SDR game mode. This will be for all your non-HDR games and also your PC as well. So, first thing you want to do is go to the game input you want to use. Now I go HDMI 2. That's my computer right there. Uh, but also there's a nice trick here. We're going to put it in PC mode. Um, so what you do is you go to the home dashboard by holding the input button. Go to the gear up here, settings, go to edit. And change the icon of your PC input to PC. And then save it. Boom. Alright, now we got the PC icon rocking. Great. Okay, PC mode. HDMI 2. This is my game mode centric input now when you're doing game mode it's not like it's cinema or, or isf dark game mode is specific it has to really detect some kind of a digital or like a, like a computer input or a gaming input because um, it doesn't the game mode doesn't show up for regular tv so i'd recommend keeping it on uh, uh keep it on your pc or some kind of video game that's not hdr leave it there when you're calibrating okay <clears throat> now for my settings we are going to make sure we are in game mode. So right here, game. Select that. Boom. And I'm going to put sharpness. I go, I go seven for uh, PC and gaming. Sharpness there. Advanced controls. Gamma two two. Good. And picture options. Make sure everything's turned off. Auto black level buff off. Great, great. Good stuff there. Energy saving off. Aspect ratio 69. That's just just uh, whatever that just was is on. Additional settings, deep color of course. Make sure that's on. Instant game response, yes sir. And AMD FreeSync Premium exclusive to the 2020 LG OLEDs on. And then don't turn that on. Don't turn. That. Okay. All right, looks good. Oh, and screensaver. Make sure that logo luminance is off during calibration. Turn it on after you're done with calibration. All right, great. So now we're in game mode. We'll just leave it right there. Now we can proceed to our Calman software. And in the description of the video, I'll leave a link to uh, the uh, meter, the i1 uh, Pro meter that I'm using. Uh, and you can pick that up if you like. And then a link to the Calman LG software, which is right here, which is very important to use when we're calibrating. Alrighty, let me get that focus in there. All right. First thing you want to do is go OLED, of course, and SDR is what we're going to do. Let's go next. And we want to find our meter. Go ahead and select that. All right, meter's found. And then you want to select raw XYZ for your... Uh, for your profile. Mine is OLED because I have a FSI e EDR profile. Thanks to Nagishin and Sammy. And now you want to find source. LG and I have the 2020 GX OLED with my IP address already in, uh, already uh, plugged in. Uh, your IP address and your TV will be in the network settings. Now you get the pin pop up on your screen. Put the pin number in. Right, now the TV will communicate with the software. The TV will go white, as you see. That's the grayscale is up. Window is 10%. And gamma formula, which we want to do is go to power. And we're going to set it to 2.2. 2.2. That's going to be our daytime uh, gamma formula for doing uh, game mode. And everything else looks good there. Cool. And LG tab. SDR 709. Cool. That looks good. Let's go next. All right. This is the pre-calibration measurement. So this is going to tell us how accurate is the OLED out of the box without calibrating it professionally. So we're going to read series.
All right, guys, so this is our pre-calibration measurement. As you can see, not accurate. All the bands are separated here. Uh, Delta E formula is out of control, and our color lines here are really wacky. So definitely, uh, hopefully, you clean that up. So let's continue. Next. Now you want to find our TV and LG, and I have the 2020 GX. Go ahead and continue. You guys put in your own TV, of course. TV turn green. All right. Which mode we're going to calibrate. So we're going to calibrate the game mode. And you make sure HDR is not selected and BT709 is what we're going to do. Go ahead and run a DDC reset. All right. We're going to pull this tab down. Everything looks good. Game mode activated. Great. All right, let's go next. Enable calibration, yes. Next. And since we're doing gamma 2.2, uh, I'm not going to touch this. I'm going to leave it at 80. Go next. And this is the bread and butter of the calibration. This is going to bring the magic. Before we calibrate, I'm going to change the formula to DE2000 underscore N. I N dab. I N dab. That's what we're doing. Feel free to experiment if you like, but that's the one I found that works best for me. Power 2.2, BT709, everything looks straight there. So we'll close that and we'll press Auto Cal. And 26 points SDR, okay, and let her go. All right, guys, we finished this in 10 minutes, 127 reads. Got a pretty good line, very low uh, towers down here. I call them towers. Very small, sk short skyscraper line, which I'm very pleased with. A lot of dots weren't totally in the center, but as long as I got a clean reading all over here, I'm good with that. All right, if you're happy with that, go ahead and go next. All right, this is color space. We're just going to do AutoCal again. And this one we're going to run calibration type Lightning LUT. Okay, Lightning LUT. Go ahead and hit OK. All right, guys, now that the color space is done, let's go next. And this right here, dynamic range, is going to press 100 and then read series. All right, go next. I'm going to turn off calibration. And next. And this is where it's going to tell us how good we did for this calibration. So it's going to read series. And hopefully we're going to get that nice 
straight line. What I like to do though is turn on properties and show targets for both the delta E's. Well, that shows us is these lines here. So the red line is awful. If it goes past that, forget about it. You might as well start over. The yellow line, if it gets to that, that's okay because after the yellow, um, that's when it starts getting uh, incorrect. But if you're before that yellow, you're fine. If you can get below green, ISF gods are smiling upon you. All right, so read series and let's see how we did. All right, guys, we just finished the post calibration and it looks really, really good. The only lull I see is this uh, at 10. It's got a little bit of a dip right there and a little bit of a red line towards the, the high point, but that's still very, very good. We're looking at Delta E at the bottom here. Absolutely fantastic. Pretty much at the green line across the board. It's beautiful. And on the other side, all the color bars are at the green. Beautiful fantastic calibration let's go next and the next screen here tells us how how good we did from before and after before crazy out of the uh, out of this world just just nuts look at this graph here gross nothing in the boxes after calibration nice decent nice line here nothing on the bottom here great and very thin along the side for the color and all those all those dots are very, very close to inside those boxes. So this is a very acceptable calibration. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. So we just can press save data at the bottom. And we want to edit this. It says edit the name so you can remember which, which calibration this was. So this was SDR game. So go ahead and select save edits. So that will save that file. All right, guys, so you want to save the calibration session. Go ahead and select that. Now it should save it to the TV. All right, all save. Very good. So now we can disconnect the display and then disconnect the source and then disconnect the meter. All right, disconnected. So now we can enjoy a perfectly calibrated game mode input. So all my SDR games for PC and game console, awesome. It's going to look fantastic. Uh, let's just double check the OLED light, see where it left, the, left it at. We're at 80. 80 OLED light. That looks great. That looks great. I'll leave it right there. All right, guys. Hope this helped you out for SDR game mode for your Calman LG and OLED TV. Like, subscribe, share, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Home Theater Rules and LG. Graph Cave out.